Okay, now that we have our initial model built here with the insurance data set and we've made some predictions from it, let's improve our prediction like we did previously in this data set when we were working in Excel. So our R squared is pretty bad, 12%. We can improve that by including all of the categorical features that we didn't include initially in our first model when we only had the numeric features. So we want to add sex, smoker, and region and see how much we can boost this. So to do that, we're going to use a pandas method down here called uh, get dummies. So what I want to do um, is first let's do this manually now. Uh, we're going to say that the data frame equals, and we're going to call this pd.get dummies method. And we're going to pass into it the data frame. And we're going to pass into it very specific columns, in particular just the three that are categorical. Sex, smoker, and region. OK. And we're going to add a couple other parameters here that are useful. We're going to tell it, use the prefix of um, Oh, and you know what? What I for missed back here, columns equals. Uh, I think I'm going to leave prefix off here. What we could do is say this would be equal to, I, I have to run it one at a time, and I could do something like prefix. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this manually so you can see how it looks with a prefix in there. And then remember, drop first. Uh, this is a parameter, and remember that when we make dummy codes, we always have to have a dummy code for each categorical value minus one. And this just says drop the first one, um, otherwise it'll keep all of them. We're going to call that good, and then I'm going to copy this for the other two. Age, age, region, region, and then let's print out our our data frame head. Okay, oh, <laughs> that was dumb of me. Did not mean to do age, meant to do smoker. So you can see what happened here. I'm gonna leave this in the video. It it uh, doesn't care if the, ca if the column is number, numeric, or categorical. It's gonna create a unique dummy code value for every value that's in there. So. It made one for every single one of our ages other than 18, which is our youngest age because we set that to drop. Now, first, we did do this on sex, so we have male uh, right here. So this first person is female since this is a zero. Anyway, I'm going to rerun everything now that I've fixed this so that it's smoker. Run all. There we go. So we have smoker, yes, and then region, northwest, southwest. Uh, southeast. So you can see the way this works. The prefix is nice if you have columns with values that are going to be the same. Like if we had another yes no column, it'd be useful to have the prefix first. In this case, I don't feel like we really need it. And so I'm going to take this off. And instead, what I can do then, since I'm not going to have a prefix, is actually put all of them in one line. So sex, smoker, region. And let's go ahead and run all again. And now it'll be like before in Excel where we just used, oh, I gotta remember my column right, my comma right here. There we go. Uh, oh, by default it puts on the, so I have to actually set the um, prefix equal to nothing if I don't want the prefix on there. So let's do that one more time. Let's see if it likes it that way. So it just gives us the, the uh, underscore first. We can actually remove that too, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on there for now because the underscore indicates that this is a dummy coded column and that'll work. Okay, now let's just copy and repeat what we did before. Our Y variable is still set. We don't need to change that, but our X variables now is going to be equal to, I'm going to say, uh, really the entire thing, right? Because this get dummies, notice how it removed the original categorical column and just left numeric columns remaining. So I'm going to set this equal to DF, but there's one column I don't want, right? I have charges in here. And I don't want to predict why 
and have y in the list of x's as well, or else I'll get an r squared of 1. Uh, so I'm going to say df.drop columns equal charges, or since I set label in the previous video to a, to a uh, variable right here, I'm just going to use the variable name just in case we ever change the label up there later on. So drop the label charges, and like we did in the prior video, assign a new column, const equals 1. And then I'm going to combine my model and results into one. I'm going to say results equal sm.ols y comma x dot fit all in one line, and then print results dot summary. So this is just like before, but I combined my model object line with my results line into one. And I didn't recreate my y since I already have the variable from above. Go ahead and run that one. Okay, perfect. It gets us up to 75% just like we did before when we were working in Excel and we added all of the categorical columns. So I'm going to show you one other way you can do this that's kind of useful when you create dummy codes. So Sometimes you have a lot and you don't want to sit there and type out everything into one uh, big long line of columns. You can do a for loop. Let's say for call and df, if uh, pd.api.types, uh, this is a pandas method, is numeric, um, I'm going to say if not, is numeric dtype. So if it's not a number, I'm going to pass into that df call. So it's going to take a look at the data frame column that we're on each time with the loop, see if it's numeric. If it's not, then we're going to go ahead and call this dot get dummies. And instead of having a list here, we'll just put in the column name from the for loop up top here. And Prefix, I'll go ahead and set back to column again. That's fine. All right, let me go ahead and rerun everything. So in our case where we only had three columns, this was kind of unnecessary, but when you have big data sets later on, this will become a nice way to nice way to handle dummy codes. So there it all there they all are, nicely created. Here's our same model. And uh, we're good. We can take care of categorical values now.